this team is unique this year's mm-hmm. version, 21-22 season. Um, preseason number one, a lot of it was based on having preseason player of the year, Drew Timmy, coming back as well as just a loaded freshman class. I, I think the room to grow has been – bigger than any other team that I can remember in recent memory for Gonzaga. And we're just now starting to see that potential really starting to blossom. What do you see? I, Dan, I, I agree with you. You know, I, I think it's funny because, it, you know, and, and obviously it's easy for me to say, well, gosh, I think Baylor should have been the number one team. But, I mean, if you look at what they had, plus their recruiting class, and that they had won the national title, you know, I, those preseason rankings, I think, get right uh, maybe a little bit ahead of themselves. And, and and, and I agree with you. I, I mean, obviously, having Drew and Andrew back, you're like, okay, this is great. Uh, we've got a really good core to, to build around. And Anton, this guy who's been in the program, but bringing in so many new faces. Yeah, and I, I think we've, we've all kind of talked about there are going to be growing pains for this group. You know, last year we knew, right? I mean, yeah. going into the season, yeah, hey, we've got a chance to, to make it, not run the table. We've got a chance to play for another national championship. You know, coming in this year, I think everybody just kind of assumes – you know, okay, well, it's got that again, got this recruited class and they've got some guys back. So they're going to, you know, they're going to do this. Well, yeah. I mean, freshmen have to learn, right. And, and I, and teams have to come together. And last year was such a veteran group and a, and a historic group, right. That, that did so many great things. And this group comes in and there's a lot to live up to and it's going to take time. Right. I, I mean, even for Chet, for being the number one ranked recruit in the country, I mean, you saw him play his first couple of games and you've seen him, you know, play those games against top 25 teams. And now we see him playing two months later. Chet has improved. Yeah. He's gotten better to learn how to play at, at this level, I think, you know, and same thing with Hunter and Nolan. I mean, with each passing game, you know, you see Hunter flying around doing some things. You see Nolan playing with a little bit more confidence. And, you know, I th- I'm with you. I think by the end of this year, this team is going to be so markedly different you know, in the yeah. middle of March than it was, you know, back in October when, when they got together. So, you know, I, I just laugh hysterically. I don't know about you, but, uh, you know, when people say, what's going on with the boys or how are we, you know, it's like, well, let's see, we lost to Duke, you, you know, in a game <laughs> we had a chance to win. Uh, yeah, okay, and we lost to, you know, an Alabama team that's, you know, was picked to win the SEC. And outside of that, like, are we forgetting the team that, that thumped Texas? Or are we yeah. forgetting the team, that, you know, that beat Texas Tech, that just beat Baylor, that has two top ten wins over the last week? So, you know, I mean, the expectations are so sky high. Uh, in a lot of ways, that's a good thing, I think. But, you know, the flip side is every once in a while, we have to kind of say, okay, wait a second. You know, and I think with this group, you know, that's been it. And I think we're starting to see it, you know, come along, like you said. I, I, I think these guys have a great chance to be so much better uh, as the season keeps moving on. And it's going to be interesting to see this week, uh, you know. And, and I, I don't know about you, but for me, it's always interesting to see how guys approach the WCC. And, yes. and moving out of when you play all these, you know, top 25 games early and then you move into league play and what your attitude is. Well, BYU, you know, and we've seen them, you know, there's been some words out of Provo a little bit. And there was a big, long article in The Athletic today that, uh, you know, had a few things that were kind of talking about it. And so it'll be interesting to see how fired up the guys are uh, on, on Thursday and hopefully they continue to improve because I think you know this as well as anybody. You know, Coach Few has done just a masterful job of keeping guys focused and dialed in and not losing games they, that they shouldn't lose. And so, you know, hopefully they continue to do that and continue to grow towards, uh, you know, towards March and hopefully, you know, towards April. 